Hello and welcome again to Carbol Space Program. So today we're starting off this with the DS003, which is Deep Space uh, like Comsat 3. Um, its mission is to like communicate into deep space. And I tried to use like one a leftover old launch vehicle. It like started blowing itself up, and it's it's really made me realize why we stopped using this launch vehicle. Um, it's a lot less reliable than, you know, our updated Flagler 2. Uh, the Flagler 1 is just just not enough. I mean, it is enough, but it's wasn't designed very well. Um, it's, it's really just designed kind of like an N1 was. Just more rockets equals more, <laughs> more ability to move. Um, but yeah, so th that's something that we ended up fixing in the Flagler 2 anyway. But, okay, so this deep space satellite, it was mostly just to get a contract for a, like, high up satellite over Kerbin, um, but I'm going to use it as a deep space communication satellite. Um, I don't know if that's what they meant it for, but that's what I'm using it as. And here I am trying to figure out what I should do with the orbits or whatever, if I should just manually make the orbit or if I could enter it into the computer and make the computer do it, but I ended up going with the manual as you'll see in just a second. So yeah, here here I am going in to like delete that node or whatever, and then I just lined it up and then I executed the node and yeah, we'll just be flying out there real quick. Um, yeah. This rocket had way more Delta V than it even needed. Um, yeah. It's something that I have a habit of doing. Like I want to save money, but then I overuse the amount of Delta V that I really need. Um, I do need to make a light launch rocket, like a light, not like a super heavy launch vehicle, but just like a light one. Um, although I will need a super heavy very soon. Um, and I think, oh yeah, here's the next mission, um, rescue one, and it's a tourist mission and a rescue mission is all sorts of confusing but here we go and yeah so the the bottom stage is actually a solid rocket booster and i got a whole lot of um inspiration from the actual um i think it was minotaur rocket that was originally put in for the constellation mission um it ended up never it only launched once but i don't know it was a cool idea for a, a rocket just being launched on an srb and then the second stage is fuel I, I thought it was pretty inventive, so that's what I did here. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so we're already on stage three. It doesn't exactly have that high of a delta V, and it can't get to orbit in two stages. It, it just gets on the third stage, but it has just enough delta V to get all the way out to Minmus and successfully do the mission that we want to do. So, yeah, we have to rescue um, a Kerbal who is currently hanging out around Minmus. But also at the same time, we had one of one Kerbal that was a tourist that needed to do an orbit around Minmus. And I was like, hey, I can kill two birds with one stone because there is just one. There's there's an empty space in this lander um, if I just get him and I only had one Kerbal that needed to go around Midmus, so it just worked out that way. It was really nice. Um, yeah, um, now you can say that he rescued someone. Um, and I think with this contract we made like a whole bunch of money, like a ridiculous amount of money. Um, yeah, so I wanted to talk about so in I think a couple of episodes we'll start building more super heavy lift launch vehicles. Um, I know that we, well first off, um, I don't know if these count as heavy lift launch vehicles, especially my other one. Um, but we will be creating a super heavy lift launch vehicle that will get us to, uh, well it'll launch the first parts of our station. Not station, but shift that will go to Mars. Um, yeah, so that'll be 
Very useful. Uh, I've been talking about the ship that'll take us to Mars for ages now. Like, just absolute ages. Um, but, yeah, it, it really is coming up. Like, we almost have... Like, the only thing that we're missing now is a... Um, what's it called? The only thing that we're missing now is the nerve rocket motors, which we almost have enough science to get. That's, that's like how close we are. So, like, we're almost there. We are almost there. Uh, so coming in on this, uh, this rocket, I zeroed out our velocities. I came in really close, which I was surprised about. Also, when we were, when we did the transfer node to this point, um, we almost hit a mountain. Like, I'm not even joking you, we were like, I'd say a thousand meters away from a mountain, but we were below the mountain. Like, we just went through the valley, which is kind of scary. <laughs> I could have killed them. And I'm pretty sure they would have died right here if I didn't, you know, launch ourselves back towards Kerbin. Yeah, so there we go. We're already on our return back to, uh, back to Kerbin. So yeah, um, in the uh, coming, in the coming, what should I say, months, or not the coming months, coming weeks, we should be finally sending a Kerbal to Mars. Um, we just need to wait for the uh, science data from our station to get back to us, and yeah, that's, that's like all we need. Um, yeah, that should be done by next episode, I believe. Uh, so yeah, that'll be great. Also, I didn't enter in at a steep enough velocity. We skipped off the atmosphere and we're coming back in in like a couple more hours. But it's fine. Uh, yeah. So this will be the end of the episode. Um, I want to say if you really liked it, please make sure to just, you know, like, comment and subscribe. Um, and if you didn't like it, please dislike it. Just, you know, helps, helps let people find it. So my videos aren't that long. So yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.